you know, gearing up to uh, De La Santos um, in this situation, um, do you think he's a better fighter than Frank? And yeah. uh, do you believe he's, like, you know, the best guy in your resume? Best guy on my resume, I don't know until I fight him. Mm. Uh, from the looks of it, from what, what I do see, um, he's definitely a real good fighter. Uh, he got great movement. Um, I, I consider him a boxer puncher. He's a boxer Absolutely. puncher. Uh, he set up good shots. Um, he's reckless, so sometimes he do get a little out of hand, but it works in his favor sometimes. Um, uh, so he's a good fighter. With... Um you know, uh, Rayo Venezuela, and then his last fight with uh, Joseph Adorno. I thought he looked good in both fights. Um, he stopped Rayo. Uh, that was another South Park 84. He stopped him. Rayo is a solid fighter. Um, jo jo Joseph Adorno, he's definitely a solid fighter, but he outboxed him in that fight. Uh, he didn't leave it close. So he, he did good. You can't take nothing away from him. He's definitely the best available option. With everybody being that, everybody say no. So tell me, what's your prediction on the fight? Just wait and see. It's going to be, <laughs> my prediction is going to be I'm going to shine. Regardless, I'm coming to shine. Um, my energy not going to switch. The same person he's been calling is the same person he's going to see come fight night. And I can't wait. I can't wait to perform in front of the world. Absolutely, everyone is is anxious and stuff like that. Now, uh, this fight's going to be held in Vegas, correct? Uh, yeah, it's at uh, the T-Mobile Arena. Okay. Um, and um, speaking upon that, like you know, you know, performing in Vegas. I know it's not your first time, but is that, is that like something that you you kind of want to do more? Uh, I mean, I'm I'm one of them dudes. I fight anywhere. Uh, put me anywhere. I'm going to perform. I'm going to show up and be who I am. So, uh, yeah, I like to fight in Vegas, but I like to fight in Jersey. I like to fight in New York. Um, I like to fight anywhere that you put me at. I'm ready to fight. So, uh, yeah, Vegas is a cool spot, but honestly, Jersey, New York, all that stuff is the same thing. Now, I'm glad that you spoke upon New York because there's a lot of Puerto Ricans there. Plus, it's what, like, 15 minutes away from your hometown? Yeah. Um, I feel like that could be a real staple. Um, the big room, you know, for you, What what are your, what's your mindset on the big room as far as you being a household name there? I mean, I, I'm ready right now. I think that you put me in the big room, I sell it out right now. Um, like you said, I'm from Jersey, so everybody from Jersey going to pull up. I got a lot of New York fans. I think, I, like I said, I'm ready right now for all of the smoke. Um, I wish it was Lomachenko. I think that would have made a lot of sense in the big room, but it's not uh, Lomachenko, so we're here. Um, so tell me, uh, you know, not looking past, uh, you know, De La Santos, but, you know, who who is, you know, the guy at 135 now? That, you know, we got Haney moving up. You know, I know that Tank is somebody that it's kind of like you got to wait and figure out, you know, who he want really at the end of the day because of where his positioning in the sport. But realistically, um, you know, Shakur Hitless, you know what I'm saying, without looking past, you know, uh, Edwin De La Santos, maybe, you know, like two, three guys that you that you really was like, yeah, I need them. Uh, right now the focus is just Edwin De La Santos. Um, if I don't get rid of him, there is nobody else. So I can't really give you a bunch of names right now. Right now, it's just De La Santos. That's all I'm thinking about. Uh, eat, sleep, breathe, De La Santos. And uh, he's going to see me come November the 16th. I talked to De La Santos before, um, and he told me that, you know, um, he called, you know, I told him that anything that you say, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to repeat it to Shakur when I do speak to him. And the main thing that he did say to me was that, um, you don't really punch hard, and he's the bigger puncher in this fight. So, therefore, um, you, you haven't really seen a puncher like this and a boxer and complete fighter. So, he believes that uh, he will knock you out. What's your response to that? Uh, two things with that. Uh, he never been in the ring with me to know how hard I punch. I done heard that plenty of times in my career. Then people get in the ring, and they say different. So, 
Um, my last opponent, he told me that I couldn't punch him. We got him up out of there in uh, six rounds. And another thing, when you talk about this knockout stuff, uh, you got to be able to hit somebody to knock somebody out. So uh, tell him to hit me. Facts, facts. Um, it's funny, man. Like, you know, you was looking at Frank Southpaw. Supposedly he a big puncher. Uh, you know, we got De La Santos. He's smart, though. He's smart. Huh? I say he's smart. Mm. He's smart. What, what you mean by that? Not not to get his ass whooped um, right now. It may be right. too early in his career to get his ass whooped, so no, he's right. smart. When he talks about, you know, a million dollars is not enough to fight Shakur Stevenson, does that flatter you? <laughs> like 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 I seen what Floyd said, how guys is going to sit here and talk about uh, a million dollars is not enough, and the most they ever made uh, was 250K, and uh, I don't, I don't, I don't get that. That's what I don't get. Um, anybody ever offered me quadruple more than I ever made in my career? Uh, sign me up in two seconds. You ain't even got to think about it. Yeah, especially for the vacant WBC title, uh, it don't get any better than that, really. Now, obviously, titles don't really. You can't take the titles to the bank. Obviously, um, you know he's obviously in PBC, and there's some names there that he can attend that possibly could make more money. Um, if he doesn't take those names like a uh, Javante Davis or a Pitbull Cruz to warm up for a Javante Davis, how I don't would you think look that, I don't I don't think him and Pitbull makes more money. No, nah, but I think what they would do is they would like, you know, they would try to like gauge it, gauge his performance with Tank's performance. And, you know, he's claiming that he made around 250 his last fight. So most likely he'll make a little bit more on this one. Um, but for you, in your opinion, do you feel like if it's not a top guy, he just really, he really just messed up right there? Yeah, he messed up a lot. Um, Cause that was like a, a big opportunity. So now the only guy that he really can fight that can make up for that is if he go fight Tank. But other than that, it's like, he just blew a big opportunity, and now he's going to go fight for the little bit of money that they're going to offer him or whatever he's been making so far, probably a little bit more than that. So, um, honestly, I think he messed up bad, and he's going to put himself in a bad situation. And then he's going to be running back, begging me to offer him that type of money, and we'll see. So you say we'll see. So you might be you might entertain him you know, later on in the future. Just because, like, the, the person that I am, I don't really duck no action. Um, it's dependent. It's dependent. We'll see. We'll find out. But I can't really tell you uh, if I give him that opportunity again.